This week on Busy PDV, we repair my DX6i radio. Hello and welcome to Busy BTV. I'm your host, Lucas Weekly, and every other week I'll be bringing you an episode about anything and everything RC. About a week ago, I dropped my DX6i radio and it broke the antenna and rudder dual rate switch. So for this week's episode, I'm going to show you how to replace your antenna and switch on your DX6i radio. But while we have it open, I'm also going to add an LED indicator light to see when it's turned on and so you don't kill the battery while you leave it on overnight. But before we get into that, I have a few things to say about how this show is going to be made for the next couple of weeks. So let's get into that. Swoosh. Whoosh. So Busy Bee TV takes a lot of effort to make, and normally I'd be able to make it an episode every other week. But currently, I'm involved in this project that is taking a lot of my time, and I want to put a lot of time into it. So instead of making one every other week, I'm going to postpone making Busy Bee TV for until after February. And here's the reason why. This is FIRST Robotics, an international robotics competition where teams compete to complete a challenge that was given to us at the beginning of January. FIRST was founded by inventor Dean Kamen back in 1989 with the sole goal to inspire young people to go into careers with science and technology. FIRST is an acronym which stands for, for Inspiration and Recognition of Science and Technology. Through gracious professionalism and cooperation, Teens learn how to work in teams, think outside the box, and expand their career opportunities for their future. I am a part of Team 3242, and this year we are competing in the competition called Rebound Rumble, where robots have to play basketball in order to score points for their alliance. Ever since the beginning of January, we have been working tirelessly on our robot, and I want to spend more time working on my robot, so... Instead of making more videos that are not as good as they would be if I had my majority of my time on them, I'm going to spend the majority of my time at First Robotics. So that is the reason why I won't be making any videos until after February. So now that you know the state of Busy BTV, let's get into our episode and repair my DX6i radio. Here are the parts you're going to need. It's the switch, the antenna, and the LED. The switch is a single pole, single throw switch, or SPST, mini toggle with a chisel tip head. This is a basic red LED with a 220 ohm resistor. All these things can be found at Radio Shack and are a little bit under $5. The antenna is from horizonhobby.com and is about $12. All the links for all these parts are available in the description. The first step is to take all the screws out of the back of the transmitter. Flip over the transmitter and dump out all the screws on the table. Use a magnet to pick them up and push them to the side so you don't lose them. Open up the transmitter and behold the electronics inside. Undo all the connectors and put aside the back because we won't be using it right now. The first step is to slowly wiggle the antenna connector off. Then undo the screw holding the antenna in. Slide the antenna out and put it to the side. Take the new antenna and slide it back into the socket where the old antenna was. Then redo the screw for holding it in onto the bracket. And re-snap in the connector for the antenna. The new antenna is in and now to move on to the switch. Unscrew the old switch, and then cut the wires as close to the switch as you can. I use my multimeter to find out what position the switch would be in when it is on and off. I found that when it's back it is turned off, and when it's forward it is turned on. So that's the orientation I will put in the new switch. Strip the wires.
and solder on the new switch. Slide the switch back into its socket and tighten it with the old nut from the old switch. Make sure its orientation is correct as I showed earlier. Test the switch and now we move on to the LED assembly. To get the wires for the LED, I took a servo extender and cut off both ends and then I stripped off the signal wire and it gave me the red and brown wires for positive and negative for the LED. Cut, cut, twist, and solder the 220 ohm resistor onto the positive end of the LED. Solder on the negative and the positive wires. And shrink the heat shrink. Test your connections with a 9 volt battery. Intersect the negative wire coming off of the battery pack for the ground and the power off the motherboard for the power of the LED. Reconnect all the connectors and make sure the LED turns on when you turn on the transmitter. Carefully drill a hole in the center of the X of the transmitter. Pop the LED in. and hot glue the LED in place, and also insulate the wire connections. Put in all the screws from the back, and you're done. So now that's done, and um, when you turn it on, you can see the really big red light that comes on on the front, and then also the um, rudder's dual rate switch. Feels a little bit cheaper than the other switches, but that's probably because I bought it from Radio Shack, and it's not the same high quality switches as they use for their um, normal switches on the transmitter. And for the antenna, it seems to be working just fine. Um, here's a little sneak peek about an upcoming video. This is my MCX2. And so that'll be it until February. And then after that, I'll come back with more videos and I guess I'll see you then. So. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next upcoming videos, and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh yeah, and if you'd like to learn a little bit more about FIRST, please go to www.usfirst.org.